the guy in black is Persian. He is another student of Coach Johan, who we featured one of his other students, Borja, or Borja, I guess would you say. Anyways, look at this. Push him out of bounds, right? If you're good at pushing, you're good at off balancing. Why not use that? Looks like it's not unique to Borja, basically. All of Coach Johan's students, not only do they test themselves, but they're able to use the skills they acquire in Tai Chi. Look at that. Great takedown. Great takedown. Again, very soft takedown. If you're truly doing the theoretical internal martial arts, it should adapt to whatever you're doing, but also you should still see the use of internal martial art. So that's what Persian, aka Percy, as he goes by, is showing. Look at that. Look at the balance. Look at the balance. Look at that. He's not getting taken down even if the ref didn't stop it. So he does have a reach advantage. But again, you see the opponent he's going against is a little bit too low, right? Great sprawl. Great sprawl. Look at that, right? Just dropping the weight. Something a lot of Tai Chi people who understand the art do very well. Being really reasonable here, guys, you know. I do bash on Tai Chi a lot, but it's very deserved. I'm never going to take back what I say about Tai Chi. But I also appreciate when real Tai Chi gets used. So, so far, person's ahead. Again, um, the black helmet and the black, um, what is it called? Chest pad is called. I had a blank right there. I only had two hours of sleep. Great takedown. So, yeah, I only have two hours of sleep, guys. So, this one, Persian, is in the red body pad so Persian immediately with kicks so so right now it's just kind of a kick exchange almost looking like a taekwondo match except without the bladed stance <laughs> so let's see if Persian is gonna go with grappling soon which obviously they've trained in there okay that's what I'm talking about look at that he caught the leg instead of takedown just kicked the supporting leg and as the guy retreated, he also kicked again. So, this is semi sanda So, they're going to go a little bit lighter, which is good. Notice the gloves are a little bit smaller. I don't know if that takedown counted because both of them hit the ground together. We'll see. And... Oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. He got him. Yep. Yep. He got him. That was good. Always adjusting your headgear, right? That's the thing about headgear. A lot of times it gets in the way. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, a little uh, flare right there. Nice leg kick. And I think just seeing where his hands are, he's probably going to grapple. He's looking for an entry. Yeah, see? He's trying to catch the leg. Which then makes... The opponent a little bit more hesitant to throw kicks, right? You see that? Opponent is afraid to throw kicks now. So, I'm waiting for a more massive takedown. I know it's in the cards. I know it's in the cards. See? See? Yeah, good job. Good job. Notice they don't shoot as low, right? That's a thing you see in Tai Chi a lot. So, Tai Chi versus Wrestler. An external style versus an internal style. Oh, oh, he still got him. He still got him despite his headgear falling. <laughs> I think that's Coach Johan. That's Coach Johan right there. That's Coach Johan. Shout out Coach Johan. So everyone, if you want to leave a comment and you don't know what to say, just say shout out Coach Johan. So, yeah, he found our video or someone sent him the video and we'll link his new channel. He's not in Valencia anymore. He is now in... Belgium so good leg kick by a student Persian oh you got him look at that got him he ducked under the punch and went in and took him down look on <laughs> notice he almost has like a Muay Thai stance right our Tai Chi guy he has almost like a Muay Thai stance but it's a lighter more bouncy Muay Thai stance oh there you go he got him he got him he's gonna get him he's gonna get him oh good job it's so cool to see when he understands different ranges, right? You got to train all your ranges. So that was a good combo by the opponent. Here's Borja. This is the first student we featured last time. Borja's the one in orange. And looks like there was a takedown attempt that 
Borgia stuffed the camera, decided to... Oh, in fact, Borgia actually tossed him. We dismissed him, throwing the guy out of the bounds. So the cameraman kind of fell asleep, got lulled by Tai Chi. <laughs> Old man Tai Chi, that is. Attempted at a Superman punch by opponent. Look at that. Oh, look at that off-balancing. Good job, Borgia. So there's a little bit of problem with the footage. I apologize about that. That's from this, not my computer. So again, Borgia in the dirty boxing range. He's looking for another takedown and he scores it. So it's interesting. The clinch dirty boxing range, right? Muay Thai guys usually dominate in it. But if you can take them down, then you will win. So this is another way to beat them. You don't have to do the big Sanda takedowns. You can do the small Tai Chi takedown. Small is the wrong word, but soft is the right word. Soft Tai Chi takedowns. More using structure than pure athleticism. So, it's almost like seeing Shui Zhao versus Tai Chi. When Tai Chi is used right, it's kind of like the difference between Jiu Jitsu and catch wrestling. Ooh, oh, Borja ate some strikes, man. Yeah, he's going to get a standing count for that. So, I left this comment... In the description of the previous Borgia video. But Borgia is not too much of a brawler. He actually doesn't like to hit. That's why it's really cool to see how he can use grappling. That he learned in Tai Chi. So we saw an example of that. If you had to force him in the pocket. It looks like that's a way to get him. See look at that. Borgia still a little bit dazed from all those punches he received. So let's see if Borgia can recover right. Look at Borgia. Borgia's like oh my god what happened. So. Look at that. Pressuring again. Maybe thinking of throwing. What do you think, Borja? There you go. Ooh, he almost got pushed out of bounds instead. Got him. Borja got him. Borja got him. Nice. Shui Zhou and Tai Chi. Shui Zhou is like Sambo and Tai Chi is like Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Not the perfect analogy, but sort of like it. The different. Actually, it is the same. I was going to say the difference is Tai Chi is more cringe, but actually Jiu Jitsu has as much, if not more, cringe than Tai Chi. Like, Tai Chi's just got one type of cringe, which is a lot of head in the clouds. Ju oh, good takedown by Borgia. Footage had an issue. Jiu-Jitsu just has every type of cringe, right? You got people who disrespect other arts in Jiu-Jitsu. You got people who overestimate their abilities. You got people who care too much about Flat Earth. <laughs> you got people who <laughs> light up a little too much, right? You got all kinds of cringe in Jiu-Jitsu, whereas Tai Chi's just mostly just... You know, people who overestimate their abilities. Another great takedown by Borgia. I hope you guys watched to the end, man. Because I saved Borgia till the end. Because he was so popular in the previous video. It's so funny that even though the guy in red originally got a standing count. But once you get thrown a few times, man. He lost his confidence again. Ah, Borgia with some crosses. Borgia going to push him out again, very likely. Or not. It looks like there's limited standing grappling time. I just noticed them counting. It should be going on to the end of the match now. Look at that. Why would you put yourself in the corner? Oh, yep. Just give Borgia more chance to throw you. Looks like the ref broke that up. Here we go. Look at that. He's just going into the corner. He's scared. This is hilarious. Oh. I don't know what happened there, but anyways, Borgia's got him. Is Borgia going to throw him? Yep, Borgia's definitely going to throw him. Oh, just shoved him out of bounds. Again, guys, sorry about the footage. It's many, many years old. Again, shout out Coach Johan. Shout out Borgia also. A lot of you guys probably don't know this, but the first martial art I was ever exposed to was Tai Chi. You see, my dad practiced Tai Chi for many years of his life. So before I ever did any external martial arts, I got to observe my dad doing Tai Chi. Since I was a kid, I always thought of Tai Chi as a way to get sensitivity, get to know your body more. It wasn't until many years later that I discovered Jake Mace on YouTube that I found out that, oh, maybe you could use Tai Chi in a more combat way. And then once you take that cat out of the bag, you can't put it back in, right? And then years later, you see that even in China, there were people claiming that. And of course, that's when a lot of the cringe started. We saw Lele get beat up by Xu Xiaodong in 10 seconds. And then the excuses, the cringe just kept getting opened up as Tai Chi opened up its own copium. If Tai Chi is really the supreme ultimate art and it's got grappling and striking, it's not just for old people in the park to meditate and heal their joints. You guys have to put it to the test. And that's why I keep showing these videos. 
there's always going to be Tai Chi people saying, I don't see any Tai Chi. That's not Tai Chi. Well, you show me what it is and don't just show me cringe. You know, you manipulating the rules, you pushing little kids, whatever the heck your definition of Tai Chi is, that's totally in the clouds. You got to show me non bullshito Tai Chi. If anything, I hope these videos just encourage you guys. If you think you can do better, if you think you've seen better, send it to me. Send it to me. Because that's what I like featuring. I like featuring the stuff that people don't usually get to see. Because that's how you grow the martial arts. That's how you grow society. You expose people to new ideas. I want to give a special shout out to Coach Johan. Or Johan probably is how you pronounce his name. He's the one who opened up this Tai Chi school. Now he is now in Belgium and he focuses more on Xing Yi and Bagua. So he doesn't teach as much Tai Chi anymore, but of course it's always going to be in his curriculum. So for those of you, if you don't have anything else to say, just leave a comment and say thank you or gracias or shout out Coach Johan. Johan with a J, J-O-H-A-N. So just say shout out Coach Johan. Make sure to press the like and if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And here's a funny joke that I'm going to give to you guys, the setup, you guys giving me the punchline. This is a fun little question for you guys. How many Tai Chi guys does it take to screw in a light bulb? You guys give me the punchline. I haven't come up with the joke. You guys tell me what the joke is, okay? What is the punchline? How many Tai Chi guys does it take to screw in a light bulb? Okay, guys, make sure to press share. And thank you so much, Fight Fam. Talk to you soon.